if you are here, then that means you're excited about the new wave of Marvel Universe figures. And right now, today, we have Scar. That's right, guys. Long anticipated figure for his release. And he is here today in Collecticon Studios in all of his Green Goliath like glory. Now, a lot of you guys have been chiming in the inbox saying, Tony, please do more reviews. Please give us more displays and backdrops with your take on some of the hottest action figures um, out there right now. And I'm, I'm really honored, guys, that you feel that way about what I do around here. And I'm, I'm enjoying myself. So without further to do or do, let's talk about Scar. That's what you guys came here for. This figure is absolutely off the charts. Uh, just great from top to bottom. I mean, look at this guy, man. We're just going to go over this real quick. I just popped him out of the package. I mean, he's maybe been out of the package 10 minutes. Grab the camera. Uh, say let's let's put some music to this thing and let's just have a good time so here we are guys I'm just gonna let you you guys are gonna get a chance to review them yourself I'm just gonna let you look at them and then we'll talk about some of the points that I like and that I feel highlight the figure and make him just a, a home run hit for this line and this wave you get a back view look at that Oh man, oh man. I mean guys, I know you're like, what's wrong with this guy? I'm excited about this, this is crazy. I'm, I'm digging this. You know, um, toys are a big part of my life now. I, I never foresaw that, you know, years ago, but it's always been a part of my life, but I never knew that it would be a full-time thing. I'm very honored and blessed for that. So I, you know, you guys get to see what my day-to-day -day life is like. I love this stuff, I live for it, it's fun stuff. Here we go guys, Scar. First thing I noticed right out the gate, the likeness here. Hasbro's really nailing it. I mean, they're getting inside of these figures in, in terms of detail. Let's let this focus real quick. There you guys go. Look at that. It looks almost as if he, you know he's about to just open his mouth and speak, man. This thing is just loaded with lines in his face, detail, um, really good depth in, in terms of his brow and just the eyes and everything, the nose, everything's just absolutely jumping out of this uh, figure right here. Another thing that I noticed a high point as far as this figure was the overall paint application. There's a lot of highlights and uh, really subtle paint washes. It looks like Hasbro's been watching a lot of our reviews, guys, and kind of taking note. And that's really good that a toy company would kind of go out on a limb and, and get inside the mines of the uh, customer and I'm appreciating that I'm sure a lot of you fans out there of their work are as well let's see what else we got here look at that we got veins in the biceps there really uh, robust figure he's a lot larger I'll do a size comparison here in a second guys he's a little slightly larger than uh, his father the World War Hulk and, I, and that's what I uh, dig about this figure like, let's do that real quick a real good size comparison side by side father son duo dad's been drinking he doesn't want to stand up there we go look at that so there we got World War Hulk Hulk I mean I'm sorry and then we have Scar which as you can see Scar's a slightly little bit more buff there a little more bulkier than his father really good especially along the jawline there and you see the same thing there really good man they're they're capturing the essence of these figures perfectly. Let's look at that. Uh, he's got wrist gauntlets, guys. Really, really cool stuff. Very realistic. Lots of detail in that as well. And then he has the leather bound gauntlet here with the armor on the side, armor plating on the side right there. What else? Loincloth with a little bit of armor plating right at the waistline. He's got a pouch here. Just, I'm, I'm just kind of reviewing this right with you guys. It's like a real-time review. Love it. Um, I, now, here's a low point. I wish they would have went a little bit more in-depth here as far as uh, painting these buckles. That's a, a good chance to really highlight a figure and get some detail. I mean, I know these things are on the production line and you pump them out pretty fast in mass quantities. But that would have been nice if they could have uh, programmed the machinery to kind of paint those buckles and those those buttons there, there we go, we focus in, you see what I'm talking about, 
also the belt, the, uh, the buckle there in the clasp. Oh man, let's look at his sword while we're here. Now I'll let you guys look at his boots. This sword is off the, man, it's off the charts. Look at this. Now, what I like about this sword, we have the, the leather wraps on the hilt of the sword, as well as, if we can focus there, you'll see there's some indentations in the sword itself. I'm flirting with the idea of uh, painting this, guys, and really highlight some of that texture there. And, and make this thing look worn and, and battle damage. I, I really like that effect. Uh, that's See, now that would be a low point for me with this figure because if you look at the the World Warhawk comparison there of the axe, you'll see that there's some weathering and some dry brushing there and it looks really, really good. Pops out at you, has a very realistic effect. So I kind of wish they would have went along the same lines with this, but overall, a great accessory straight out the comics, straight off the pages. You can't beat that. Uh, fits rather snug inside of his his kind of barbaric scabber there, or holster. Um, let's see, I, I love the tribal tattoos. I really, really love how they did that. It, it, it's really neat and really crisp. And then let's look at those boots like I promised, guys. Really good detailing in the barbarian kind of uh, Babylonian type of boots there with the armor there as well. Look at that. You can even see the, the twine that's holding it together around his ankle. Man, that's it's really good stuff. Really good stuff. Great figure, guys. If you do not have this, go get it. It's worth every penny. Um, I don't know how scarce they are, you know, all over the country. I know in my area, they're kind of hard to find right now, especially the Scar. He's kind of the chase figure in this area right now. But if you guys happen to see a couple of these, pick them up, grab them for a friend, someone in the community, you know, or, or whatever, you know, throw them up on eBay, whatever you guys want to do with them. But this is just a great figure, man. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait to throw them in some ACBA, do something real special with them. But that's it, guys. That's my overall take on this figure. Oh, one more thing. Look at the hair. Look at the way it flows. Let's, let's look at that real quick before we go. Great stuff. Can't believe I didn't talk about that. But like I said, guys, that's my take on this figure right out of the package. Um, if you don't have them, go get them. He's worth every penny, and like I said, I'm going to do some ACBA with this. Something really special. Have some fun, and maybe you guys will check it out. So until next time, keep collecting, start painting, and check out our other reviews. There's going to be a lot more where this one came from. We're out of here, guys.